call the Irishman call. Or by the I think the first thing to do is, is to sort of give you an idea of what we're going to do here. Because anytime you do anything with people, there's a set of expectations. You go there with a set of expectations of what's going to happen. You go to the baseball game, there's a set of expectations of what's going to happen, how you're supposed to behave, what this, what's the deal. You go to the symphony, it's a totally different set. The first thing, and the most important thing, is that every one of us, simply by virtue of being human, is a master improviser. We all have this incredible amount of intuitive knowledge, awareness, understanding about how the process of improvisation works. So I'd like to start off there, just to, just to put that out there, that, it, that we tend to think of improvisation a lot as this sort of foreign thing that you know musicians do it or artists do it or you know these weird people do it, but it's not. It's something we all do all the time. It's as familiar as putting your shoes on, really. Um, and the challenge, if you want to learn how to improvise music or to improvise anything, is is to is to learn how to apply that intuitive knowledge and understanding that you have about the process of improvisation and how it works to whatever medium it is that you're desiring. To, to exercise it in. Um, but I like to bring that up because it's really important to understand that the process of improvisation itself is the same no matter what you're doing with it. For instance, all of us here right now are improvising. That seems like a weird statement. I, you know, I'm up here talking, obviously I'm, I'm improvising, I'm making all this up, right? I've said it a bunch of times in different ways with different people, but I'm I don't have notes, I'm making all this up. It's obvious I'm improvising this. But you guys, you guys are all improvising with me right now. If we stopped right now and I talked to everybody separately and asked them what this was like, what happened, everybody would say something different, right? How is that possible? You're all here, you're all experiencing the same thing. You're all hearing me say the same thing. You're all seeing me, right? The reason why it's possible is because all of your experiences are different. Each person's experience is an improvisation that you're creating in this moment, right? Based on how you see the world, based on your past associations, you know, based on all these little things that make you you and makes this improvisation of this moment, of this reality, your improvisation. Right. So improvisation, it seems like this far-fetched thing but it's not, it's just, it's a basic reality, like breathing, like remembering where your car keys are. It's just something we do as humans. So that's the first thing, that's our first grounding that, that I like to stress absolutely above everything else. We're all improvisers, that's what we do.